The future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also their live action and animated TV series to arrive on Disney+. Plus. And let's not forget about their new Star Wars live action, new Star Wars trilogy that's going to be hitting theaters in the near future by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now the thing about Disney Star Wars as of this moment right now is that Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are really trying their absolute best and are really hard at work on really developing a plan to reunite the fan base, to really bring the fans back together, to really make Star Wars more successful than it ever has been. And that to me I think is going to be a very tough challenge to really complete because given the fact that The Last Jedi was a terrible movie, at least in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of you out there will agree, and The Rise of Skywalker was more around the lines of J.J. trying to fix that mess, and it did not really quite do all too well at the box office. Now, when we look at everything related to Disney Star Wars, they currently have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works for Disney Plus alone. We're talking about TV shows. So over 10 years worth of TV shows already in the early development phase. Now this really is a big deal because it tells us that Disney is really trying to expand and use Disney Plus as a source or as a platform, if you will, of a library's worth of Star Wars material and that only one project Kathleen Kennedy will have full creative control over. Now when we look at everything related to Bob Iger and Chapek, that's the one thing is that they're very ambitious about Star Wars right now. Whether it's out of desperation or just pure generosity and trying to help the fans is unclear. Now when we look at everything related to that in that sense, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the rise of Skywalker, they are focused on the new Star Wars trilogy of films as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now currently both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are working together as a team in order to create a better and brighter future for Star Wars and for the Star Wars community in order to make it more successful than ever before. Now, though Kathleen Kennedy no longer has creative control over any existing Star Wars projects, she is said to still have creative, creative power over one project that will be developed by Leslie Headland. However, during and after the premiere for The Rise of Skywalker, many interviews were given to creators of the sequel trilogy, as well as the actors, including actress Daisy Ridley, where eventually she was questioned about Kathleen Kennedy's leadership over at Lucasfilm. Now, it's explained that eventually Daisy Ridley was able to reveal that it was Kathleen Kennedy's ultimate decision to title the film The Rise of Skywalker, since the name Skywalker would attract the most fans and create a sense of excitement. Now, Daisy went on to explain that Kathleen Kennedy wanted to create hype for the fans by using the name Skywalker in the title and believed that it was the best title possible for the end of the saga. Not just that, but also Daisy went on to reveal that Kennedy was the one who pushed the idea of Ben Solo, having far less screen time where originally J.J. Abrams aimed for the film to be far longer than the final cut that would include far more screen time and dialogue for Ben Solo and far more dialogue. Daisy went on to reveal that Kennedy felt that Adam Driver as Ben Solo, being more so a silent character, made the character more interesting, and that also she felt that she made the ultimate decision to not explain how Palpatine came back to life in the film, as she believed it made the film more interesting and engaging by hiding how he became, you know, how he actually came back to life in the movie. Now, Daisy really went on to reveal also that Kennedy had a bit of trouble also with J.J. Abrams and George Lucas on deciding on how Palpatine would come back to life and so that also played a major role into the reason or decision why it was not explained in the movie of how he was back to life in of course by Disney and Lucasfilm and was instead used as a retcon in the novel. So the thing about Kathleen Kennedy, once again, it just shows us that she really doesn't know exactly what she's doing with Star Wars. There's no doubt about it that when we just take a first glance at Kathleen Kennedy, she really promised the fans and George Lucas and in that interview years and years ago, I believe it was like back in what, 2011 or 2012, that she was going to protect these characters and really honor the characters of how they were. And obviously that was a lie. You know, we saw a big 180 by Kathleen Kennedy of what she did with Disney Star Wars. So, everything related to the reason as to why she titled the film The Rise of Skywalker to attract the fans, to really boost up the hype and excitement, well, that worked. It definitely did work because a lot of fans thought it had something to do with Luke or Anakin in the long run. And it did to a certain level at first, 
because there were a lot of scenes that were deleted from the movie that had to do with those characters, but ultimately she wanted the title to primarily have to do with Rey. That was all Kathleen Kennedy. And not just that, but that she really dwindled down the amount of screen time and dialogue for Ben Solo in the film compared to what J.J. Abrams and George Lucas wanted to have in the final cut of the movie before those were also deleted. So you can see that a lot of changes were made to this movie, and obviously this was a very rough production, a very messy production, if you will. Two different phases of reshoots and rewrites, so to speak, that really does speak volumes. So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.